Brazil. Minas Gerais. Located in the center of the state, the Iron Quadrangle is the region that concentrates the largest production of iron ore in the country. Lasting for more than two centuries, this production already shows signs of exhaustion. Data from the Ministry of Mines and Energy point that by 2041, iron ore reserves from the region will be exhausted. As negative impacts, there are a predominant economic dependence on mining in cities of the region and the constant degradation caused by these activities. Anticipating the chaos generated by this scenario, there is an urgent need to produce a response capable of reversing it. It's in this context that Inversu arises. The Green Institute of Sustainability from the Iron Quadrangle, a non-profit private institution with the aim of promoting courses in the areas of design, marketing, engineering, architecture, and environment, and to contribute for sustainable cultural, economic, and environmental development in the region. To be located in Lavras Novas, a district of Ouro Preto, the Inversu campus will be 8.3 miles far from the Federal University of Ouro Preto. The institute has the perspective of attending, at first, 145 students early for free. And will constitute in several architecture and design studios aggregated in only one center of knowledge production, producing know-how, promoting interdisciplinarity in project design, creativity and practical applications for these future professionals. Architecturally, this ensemble is organized in parallel blocks, where the program is distributed in the different buildings, composed of five blocks, a library, the events hall, the administrative block, a block of classrooms, and a shed for manual activities. The implantation strategy gives the design the aesthetics of lightness and simplicity since the buildings land on the topographic conformation and are elevated on stilts, allowing social activities and public enjoyment under them. In order to facilitate the user's mobility, the administrative block and the block of classrooms are arranged side by side. Under the ground floor of these blocks, there is a parking lot and the auditorium. Manual activities, such as the prototyping room and the overhead crane, were put away from the set to minimize the noise they may cause and also for usability and access. Thus, together, the buildings communicate with the environment in which they are inserted, providing an architecture of dialogue, whether with the nature, with the user, or with the space. The event hall emerges from the topography, merging with part of the natural terrain.
The library is further away and elevated over a water mirror to provide acoustic and contemplative comfort. The use of the constructive system in a metallic structure with dry construction describes the reversible character to the set, since it allows assembly and disassembly for reuse and recycling of materials in another location. At east and west orientations, the facades are ventilated in order to combine innovation and energy efficiency. These help to improve the thermal comfort of the building and can reduce between 30 to 50 percent of the energy consumption of a building, in addition to using 100 percent recyclable materials in its composition. They were constituted by prefabricated boards made of geopolymer cement composed of iron ore dam tailings from the iron quadrangle, enabling the reuse of this byproduct that is largely available in the region. so that the high solar incidence on the north facade doesn't disturb the occupants of the set, a horizontal breeze soleil was designed for the terrace. The solution articulates potential of power generation when it supports photovoltaic output at the roof. For the north and south facades of the blocks, the glass panels will receive OPV, organic photovoltaic films. Made of non-toxic organic material, this green solar energy technology has a production process with low energy demand and the lowest carbon footprint. It helps to reduce the temperature of the building as it blocks infrared and ultraviolet radiation. The coverage of all blocks is characterized by the presence of green roofs, which conform as part of the building for appropriation of uses and contemplation of the local landscape. This type of coverage, in addition to contributing aesthetically, acts as an energy efficiency mechanism, provides thermal and acoustic comfort and the rainwater harvesting. The landscape design was based on the idea of creating spaces that stimulate and favor outdoor activities and contemplation, exploring also the assigned benefit of thermal comfort and psychological well-being towards its users. It is composed of native plants and adapted to the region's climate in addition to the endangered species as a strategy of conservation and respect for the nature. With all this structure, Investu aims to promote a sustainable culture and education capable of transforming the Iron Quadrangle region. The Institute aims to value the local culture, such as music, literature, folklore, crafts and cooking, fostering research and providing training and improvement in these areas. Commit to the environmental preservation of the region. Through research on the water resources, local fauna and flora, and by encouraging environmental awareness in the various educational activities. Assist in regional economic development Investing in training that seeks to integrate theory and practice through the know-how and stimulating local entrepreneurship. Take advantage of the region's touristic potential through bringing international academic tourism in the form of exchange programs. In order to achieve its goals, Inverso seeks companies and institutions that believe in its same values and that desire to become partners of the Institute, 
envisioning the economic, cultural and environmental sustainable development of the Iron Quadrangle region. As partners, they could assist in logistical financial support or provide subsidies for research, improvement and training in the institute's educational activities. It's becoming more and more urgent to see the environment as part of the human development, articulating ecological, technological and cultural processes, and then configuring a transition of knowledge. Moving from scientific rationality, which has long been in a position of domain over the environment, for environmental knowledge, which reintegrates the values and potentials of nature. Just like the School of Mines, founded in the 19th century, pioneer in developing engineering in Brazil, 144 years later, Invesu comes to contribute in a sustainable way by building the future in the present. Therefore, Ouro Preto consolidates itself as an important centre for the country's development. Our future doesn't need to be made of degradation and scarcity. Our future can be the inverso. For more information, go to institutoinverso.com.br